Hello and welcome to part 3 of the tutorial. For this video you should have already created project and design files. If you haven't already done so, please look at the two videos um, and then create a project and design. In this video I'm going to show you something called behavioral simulation where I take a file with test vectors like this, apply it to my design and then let the computer run a simulation and then show me what the output is going to be. Um, from this simulation I can draw a truth table, I can look at what the outputs are going to be for a particular combination of the input. So let me show you how to do that. So go to Project Navigator um, and then click on the Design panel. Up here at the top in the View pane, make sure you select Simulation in the radio button and then the drop down menu should be Behavioral. Once I select that, um, select the design file for which you want to run the simulation. In this case, I'm going to select task 1, which is my schematic. Then down at the bottom in my process panel, I should expand model sim simulator. And then double click on simulate behavior model. So what this does is it makes Xilinx open up the model sim application. Um, now this is going to take some time, so make sure that you wait till models and loads up completely. And the way to actually check if models is loading up completely is to look at the transcript panel down at the bottom. So when my transcript panel actually shows me this vSim prompt, then my design is loaded. Now what I want to do is I want to load up my test vectors file. Now for this lab, creating a test vector is beyond the scope of this class. Um, so essentially we'll be giving you test vectors for each and every lab. Ask your TA about the location of this file and then go to ModelSum, open file, load, browse to the location where the file is located. So this is essentially a .do file. Open up the .do file. Again wait for the design to load completely. Again, looking at the transcript window down at the bottom, uh, when I see the vSIM prompt, I know that my design is loaded. I get two windows here. One is a list window, the other one is the wave window. The list window is basically gives me the truth table. Um, so in here, if I look at the first row, it tells me that for an input of 0, 0, 0, I'm getting an output of 0. And for the next one, for an input of 0, 0, 1, I'm getting an output of 1. The next one, getting an output of 0 for an input of 0, 1, 0, and so on. So make sure that you write down the truth table in your lab notebook. And then the waveform window is essentially the graphical way of the truth table. So if you look at it, I'm only looking at the last 10 nanoseconds, but I want to look at the entire picture from 0 nanoseconds. So what I do is I click on the zoom full icon, and now I see the entire picture. Now we're going to compare this waveform with the truth table. So essentially, um, every row in my truth table corresponds to every column in my waveform. So the first column in my waveform reads 0, 0, 0 with an output of 0, which is what my truth table reads also. So like that, you're going to browse through each and every column in your waveform and see if it actually matches up with your truth table. Once it does, draw the waveform and then draw the truth table and then you're done with this task.